What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a portrait illustration of Titan TV Man from Skibbity Toilet. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a three-dimensional block along the top of the head. We're starting the center page at the very top. Just gonna angle the head, coming down and across towards the left to right about there. From the top right, we're gonna draw the front edge coming down at an angle towards the bottom. And then we'll draw that same angle line coming down across the bottom towards the outside. Let's close off the left side of the head with that same angled line coming down towards the bottom. Now this is the front face of the block, so let's draw on the side. From the top, it's going to angle this down, then out towards the back. Let's draw that same angled line across this bottom corner. Now I'm going to close off the end with the same angled line we have in the front edge. Now from this left corner, we're going to draw that same angled line, but we're just going to pull this up a little bit on the back side. So it gets narrower as you come towards the back. And we'll close off the bottom with that same angled line. Now we're going to go back to the front face and trace out the inside of the screen. So we're going to start along the top, just going to trace this out, come down the sides, and then along the bottom. Now we're just roughing this out, we don't need to get into too much detail. Now we're going to add some more shape to that front block. Let's start by separating the front edge. From this corner, we're going to step in, just trace that line going all the way towards the back, towards the right. And then from this point, we're going to draw that same angle line going up towards the top. Now we're going to reduce the size of the back. So we're going to take this line, we're going to raise this up, just come down and out. From this line, we're going to step down. We're just going to angle this down, so we're sloping it towards the back. It's right about there. And then from the bottom, draw the same angle line coming across towards the left, right about there. I'm just going to pull that up and underneath. Now that we have the basic shape of the head, let's block in the body. Now the neck is going to sit in the center of this line. So I'm just going to draw a small oval. From the center of that oval, let's curve the spine going out towards the left and then down towards the bottom of our page. Now just underneath that oval, we're going to angle the shoulders going across and then up. Let's draw an oval on the end on the right. And this will be for the arm socket. Now let's draw that same size oval on the left side. On the left side of that oval, it's going to curve the body, going out and then down. And then from the right side, bend this in and then down. Now we're going to draw in that front arm. Starting from the top of our oval, just curve the arm, going out and then down. Now we're going to step in, draw the bottom of the arm. Let's layer those blades across the back. We're going to start from the side of the arm, bend this out and then up. Come down with an angled line. Now I'm going to follow that same curve coming in behind the arm. Now from the top of the blade, we're going to draw that same angled line for a guide coming down and then in. Now we're going to add another blade from this line. Starting here, we're going to follow that same curve coming down and then in towards the side of the body. Draw this angle line from the tip coming down. Now we're going to open up the center of the jacket. From the shoulder on the left, step in, draw that same curve going out and then down. From the top of the right shoulder, step in, draw that same curve. Let's add that device in the center of the body. From the edge of the jacket on the left, draw an oval, going all the way around and then down. Now I want to trace that oval along the outside, but I'm going to shift this over towards the right. So we step up, going up, just go overlapping the jacket, coming down and back up towards the left. From the bottom of the oval, draw a straight line coming down. Now from the top sides, angle this up and then out. Now we're going to go back to the top of the shoulder. Just going to angle the shoulder going up and in towards the side of that oval. 
So just on the outside, going up and then in. Now that we have a rough sketch, I want to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. So removing the lines that we don't need. And now we're going to go in and add a second level of detail. Let's start by adding a trim around that oval, so just along the inside. And because we're seeing this from an angle, we want to see the inside edge on the left. So starting from the top, just draw the inside coming down towards the bottom. Let's add a separation along the top of two straight lines. So we're going to round up the side. And then from the bottom, it's just going to angle this down and out. Let's add some shape to the bottom and then the top. Now we're going to go back up to the top, just add the edge of the collar coming down and up. Draw the shirt collar coming down towards the point, and just tucking that up underneath the jacket. Let's add the jacket collar. Working our way up towards the top. Now I want to add an armband detail on the right arm. So we start with a curve going around the base of the arm, step up and draw that again. Let's add a blade coming out from the back of the arm. So from the side, going up and out, we'll close off the end of the straight angle line. Now from the top, angle this up, just going to bend this up at the tip. I'm just going to taper this back down towards the bottom. Let's add the bottom edge of that cube coming in towards the arm. Once we're happy with the composition of our drawing, I'm going to go in with the tip of my pencil and trace out our contours. Now I start with the top edge of the TV. Just working our way across. Now just using these short lines, I'm not trying to create these lines with one continuous line. And this gives us an opportunity to reshape our drawing if we need to. So starting with that front edge first. And we're going to reserve the shading for last. Let's trace out the inside of the TV. Now with this, we can get a little bit more detail. So we see the inside bevel on the side and the top. It's going to leave a thin strip along the edges. I'm just going to work our way towards the back. And the areas that might get obscured by the body, we're just going to fade that out for now. I'm just going to pull that in and come back to that after. I blend the head into the body. She's coming in towards the collar, just bending that up and then out. Just going to add that arm seam across the top of the arm.
Now in this next phase, you wanna add the various tones, highlights, and shadows. Now you wanna imagine that the lights come from the top left of our page going across our character. So the front side is gonna be lit up in highlights and the shadows will sit along the bottom. Now with this glass, we wanna create a highlight and shadow. So starting from the top corner, let's add that glare line. I'm just gonna come across and then out toward the bottom left with a very light line. And then along the top here, I'm just gonna add a small oval just for the highlight. Starting along the top left, we're just going to lightly shade this in, working our way in towards that highlight. And we're just going to fade that out as we cross that line. So we want that even shade. And then just blending that out around that oval. Now with this glare, we're gonna darken up the bottom corner on the right and just fade that up towards that guideline. So right about here, we're just gonna blend that out. Let's add a little bit of a shadow line across the top and then the left side. And now we're going to darken up the front face of that screen. And get that contrast from the screen, we're just going to go a little bit darker with that outside trim. Now the darkest part of the head is gonna be the underside. So this is where the light doesn't catch. So we're just gonna darken that up as much as we can. And the same thing for the back. And let's shade in the sides. You want to try to go a little bit darker than the face of the TV. So we're going to start off with a medium shade first and then just darken that up as we go. So we're going to go shade darker.
and do the same thing across the back. Now you don't have to go as dark along this back. We'll still get that contrast with the side and the bottom. I'm just going to darken up the neck and then just blend that in towards the collar. I'm going to add a medium shade to the jacket, starting on the left side, just working our way down. Now along the bottom, I'm just going to fade that out. I'm going to have a rough treatment along the bottom of the jacket. And do the same thing on the right. I'm just going to work this in sections, starting with the body first before we get into the arms. And then fade that out. And the head's gonna cast a shadow across the top of the body. So we just wanna darken that up and then fade that down on both sides. And shadow from the inside of the arm and blending that up. just underneath the armpit. I'm just going to add a light shade to that ring in the front. And we're going to leave the center of that oval in white. And then with the blades in the back, we're going to start off dark along the inside and then fade that up to create a bit of a highlight. Let's darken up the tips and do the same thing in the opposite direction. I'm just going to layer in some extra details with the buttons. I'm just going to wrap up our drawing by signing my artwork. You're more than welcome to continue to add some more detail and shading. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of the Titan TV Man from Skibbity Toilet. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.